Best Android Phones Are you looking for the best Android phones? In this video we will look at some of the best Android phones on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Best Android Phone The Pixel 8a, 8 out of 10, Wired recommends, comes very close to being the perfect phone for everyone. It looks stunning, especially in the flashy aloe color. Its powerful Tensor G3 processor handles demanding games and multiple apps with ease, offering nearly all the smart software features that make Pixels delightful to use. The 64MP main camera and 13MP ultra-wide lens capture better photos than most other phones in its price range and even some more expensive ones. The 6.1-inch OLED screen strikes a nice balance in size, being neither too large nor too small, and it gets decently bright. Plus, it boasts a smooth 120Hz refresh rate. The phone also supports wireless charging and has an IP67 water resistance rating. Google provides two biometric authentication options, fingerprint and face unlock, both usable for accessing sensitive apps. And did I mention it costs less than $500? It's built to last, with seven years of software updates. However, there are some drawbacks. The battery life is just okay, it typically lasts a day, but heavy users might need a power bank. I also encountered issues with Realtone, Google's imaging algorithm meant to better capture darker skin tones, which didn't perform as well as in previous models. But if you can overlook these flaws, this is the best smartphone for the money. Number 2. Best Flagship Phones Samsung smartphones are the pinnacle of the Android world, boasting top-tier specs, refined hardware, and excellent software support. The Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, and S24 Ultra, 8 tenths, Wired recommends, will all receive 7 years of software updates, ensuring you can keep your phone for longer. They are powered by the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, delivering smooth and powerful performance. The AMOLED screens are sharp and extremely bright, with 120Hz refresh rates, and the batteries in all three models should last more than a day with average use. If you prioritize battery life, the S24 Plus or S24 Ultra are your best bets, the S24 is the smallest, ideal for those who prefer a compact phone. The Ultra also includes the S Pen, making it a must-have for stylus enthusiasts. The triple camera systems on the S24 and S24 Plus are reliable and versatile, with the selfie camera remaining one of the sharpest on the market. The S24 Ultra includes a fourth camera, a 5x optical zoom that replaced the previous 10x optical zoom. While I miss the 10x zoom, the 5x is still a great feature. These phones also capture some of the smoothest and most detailed videos in the Android world, making the S24 series perfect for those who film a lot on their phones. The series now includes a range of smart AI features, some of which are genuinely useful, though they are still not quite as advanced as those on Pixel phones. Once you have your Samsung in hand, check out my recommendations on which settings to change to get the most out of it. I also have case and accessory recommendations here. Number 3. Smartest Phones Google's flagship Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro, 7 tenths, Wired recommends, are more refined than ever and will receive 7 years of software updates, similar to Samsung's Galaxy S24 series. The camera system on these two phones remains excellent, with the ultra-wide on the Pixel 8 Pro being one of the best in the industry. They now feature secure face unlock for biometric authentication, allowing access to banking apps, although it's not effective in low light, so the fingerprint sensor is still available as a backup. The main reason to buy Pixel phones is their smart software features, such as call screen, which thwarts robocalls and even allows you to respond to people without answering the phone. The Pixel 8 series excels in smart image editing software. Tools like Magic Editor, Audio Magic Eraser, and Best Take offer a powerful suite of features to easily edit your photos and videos. You can erase unwanted objects in the background, remove annoying sounds from videos, or swap someone's face in a group photo to one where they're not blinking. It's impressive, slightly disconcerting, but also fun and genuinely helpful. I only wish the battery life on these phones could last closer to two days. Be sure to check out our Best Pixel Phones Guide, where you'll find case and accessory recommendations. Number 4. A mid-range alternative. OnePlus seems to be reconnecting with its roots this year, 
offering impressive specs at surprisingly low prices. The OnePlus 12 or isn't its flagship phone, the title goes to the OnePlus 12, but it features 2023's top-end Qualcomm Snapdragon HN2 chipset, delivering excellent performance for just $500. If you're a heavy mobile gamer on a modest budget, this phone is for you. The 6.78-inch AMOLED screen has a variable 120Hz refresh rate and gets plenty bright. The software feels smooth, the primary camera competes well with the Pixel 8a and the 5,500 mAh battery lasts roughly two days with average use. Plus, you can recharge it quickly with the included charger, reaching 100% in about 30 minutes. So why isn't the OnePlus 12 are our top overall pick? Unfortunately, it only has an IP64 water resistance rating, meaning it's fine in the rain but not if you drop it in a pool. Its secondary cameras, the ultra-wide and macro, are somewhat lackluster. It lacks wireless charging, a convenience available on the Pixel 8a. OnePlus also promises only three Android OS upgrades and four years of security updates, which isn't as good as its Pixel competitor. Still, if these limitations don't bother you, this is an excellent mid-range smartphone. Number 5. Best Folding Phones Folding flip phones are perfect for those who dislike big screen devices and prefer compact phones that fit into the smallest pockets. Here are two standout options. Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip 5, 7 out of 10, Wired recommends, offers a big screen experience that feels like a stack of post-its in your pocket when folded. The new 3.4-inch cover screen lets you do more than before, such as scrolling through widgets and browsing a few apps. The cameras are better than those on the Motorola Razr Plus, mentioned below, and it has superior build quality, but the battery life isn't great. Motorola's Razr Plus, 7 out of 10, Wired recommends, features an even more useful and larger front screen than the Galaxy Z Flip 5, allowing you to use almost any app, read notifications clearly, and check widgets like the weather, news, and your calendar, all without opening the phone. Unfortunately, the cameras are lackluster, and the battery life is just as middling as the Flip 5. It also isn't as water-repellent. For those looking to save money, Motorola's cheaper Razr, 2023, often drops as low as $500, making it one of the most affordable folding phones. It still offers smooth performance and day-long battery life, but the cover screen is barely useful, and the cameras are mediocre. Number 6. Best Under. Motorola's latest Moto G Power is the best it's ever made, 8 out of 10, Wired recommends. Despite its $300 price tag, it exudes a premium feel with its faux leather back and slim design. The performance is smooth, thanks to the MediaTek Dimensity 7020 and 8GB of RAM. While you might experience some slight hiccups, it handles most apps and games just fine. The cameras are solid, and the 6.7-inch LCD screen boasts a 120Hz refresh rate and gets plenty bright. Best of all, Motorola has included an NFC sensor for contactless payments and introduced wireless charging, making it one of the only sub-$300 phones with this convenience. However, it will only receive one Android OS update, to Android 15, though Motorola promises three years of security updates. There is also a fair amount of bloatware, but most of it can be removed. Number 7. For Spec Fiends. If you're looking for a powerful Android phone with top-of-the-line specs, the OnePlus 12, 8 out of 10, Wired recommends, will not disappoint. OnePlus collaborated closely with Qualcomm to optimize the Snapdragon HN3 chipset, resulting in an incredibly polished, smooth, and fast user experience. Games like Genshin Impact ran slightly smoother than on the Galaxy S24 series, and the OnePlus stayed cooler as well. The 5,400 mAh battery lasted two days with average use, and as usual, you can recharge the phone quickly with the included charger. OnePlus has reintroduced wireless charging support, and it charges even faster with the proprietary wireless charger, sold separately. The triple camera system isn't the best on the market, but it holds its own against competitors, you'll just have to accept the large camera bump on the back. I personally like the stylish Marble S design. One drawback is the curved glass display, which feels dated and isn't as user-friendly as a flat display. Additionally, it's only IP65 water-resistant, and while it will receive four Android OS upgrades and five years of security updates, this falls short compared to the seven years of support from Samsung and Google. Number 8. For the Aesthetic. 
Nothing is all about style, reflected not only in its phone hardware design but also in its slick Nothing OS interface. If you feel like every phone looks and acts the same, check out the Nothing Phone, 2A, 9 out of 10, Wired recommends, it will feel like a breath of fresh air. While the more widely available Nothing Phone, 2, costs around $619, the Phone, 2A, offers nearly the same experience at about half the price. One standout feature is the Glyph LED lights on the back, which illuminate for notifications and can be customized for other apps. For instance, you can set a timer and watch the LED bar decrease as time runs out. Performance on this smartphone is impressive, the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro chipset handles games and apps smoothly. The 6.7-inch AMOLED screen with a 120Hz refresh rate is excellent. It also features NFC and an in-display fingerprint sensor, and nothing promises three Android OS upgrades and four years of security updates, which is quite good for a sub-$400 phone. I used this phone as my daily driver during the Mobile World Congress 2024 trade show, and it performed flawlessly. However, its weaknesses are in cameras and connectivity. The photos are decent but not outstanding, and there's no Verizon support. Additionally, to purchase the phone in the US, you need to enroll in Nothing's developer program and be accepted. Number 9. My favorite folding phone. The Pixel Fold, 8 out of 10, Wired recommends, is Google's first folding smartphone. It features a wide 5.8-inch external screen that feels like a standard phone display with no compromises. When you have both hands free, you can unfold it to reveal a larger 7.6-inch screen, which enhances the experience for apps like Gmail with its two-pane view and makes multitasking easy with split-screen mode. This functionality is surprisingly useful. In addition to its innovative design, the Pixel Fold boasts a great camera system, bright displays, good battery life, and smart software, making it an impressive device. However, its steep price tag of $1,799 makes it a significant investment, and there are concerns about the durability of folding devices. Despite these drawbacks, I enjoyed using this first-generation device as it showcases the future of smartphones. For more options, check out our Best Folding Phones Guide. Number 10. For Gamers and Audiophiles. These two Asus smartphones share striking similarities. Both are large Android devices, boasting 6.78-inch AMOLED screens with high refresh rates, IP68 water resistance, powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, and equipped with a robust 5,500 mAh battery. While their cameras may not fully justify their price, their standout feature is the inclusion of a headphone jack, a rarity among flagship Android phones. The ROG Phone 8 distinguishes itself further from the Zenfone 11 Ultra by offering two USB-C ports, which supports Asus ROG Aeroactive Cooler X accessory. This cooling fan attaches to the phone, effectively lowering temperatures during gaming sessions, resulting in improved frame rates and smoother gameplay over extended periods. However, these phones are limited to two Android OS upgrades and four years of security updates, an improvement over past Asus models but falling short compared to their competitors.